people, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video, back on my lovely Redstone world. And well, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a combination lock. Simple item frame combination lock. Let's start. So we'll find yourself a clear spot of land, so I'll just go over here. And then put down a block, your wall, so this is, let's say, where the wall is of our house, or outside our house, blah blah blah. And I'm going to have three locks, I'm going to put one here, one here, and one here. And then put a block outside the ones we where item frames are, and then we're going to go up by one. So it's like this. We're then going to go get ourselves a comparator. And put a comparator in here, here, and here. And we're also going to put an item in all of these item frames for that. Okay, so now with I'm going to represent it with wall, so it will be locked if and then I'm going to put a different block of wall at the end make these, well, whatever size you want them to be as long as it's within redstone range, if that makes sense maximum it could go is, I believe, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ok, so that should work so as long as it stays working, it should be fine once you've done that, you then want to go down all of these here put a repeater and a redstone Repeater and redstone, repeater and redstone. You also want then want to put redstone along all of here. Like these. And so on. And so forth. Okay, you're then going to put a torch uh, here, here, and here. So with this one, and when it goes past the torch, it, okay, so it's on. And when we get it, turn it to the right number. So there you go, it's off. So when it goes to round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So basically once it gets to here, it's worth 7. 7th position I believe. Uh, you know what I'm on about. And then that redstone will turn off. And then you can do the same for all of these. And then so on. And when if it links up here, just put a block on top. And then it will no longer link up. Like so. Let's say we built this one a tiny bit longer and it still works, so if I want to, so that I can put that there. Okay, and then this will make sense in a minute. Then the repeater here, we put the redstone dust so it links round to here. We then can have it linked up so when we get this combination, this one right. And this one right, so let me just sort of move you there for a second. So when this one get turned, so it's turned off. Okay, so I think so. Yeah, as you can see, it won't turn off. So I made this one too long. Oh no, I didn't make it too long. I just forgot to put the redstone in. So let's say if we turn this off, and then the redstone should turn off there. Okay. And I'm now going to break that redstone dust there. This will make sense in a minute. And we turn set this one so it turns off. Okay. Three, two, one, and then it's turned off there. So yeah, so when that torch turns off, the piece of dust should turn off as well. So if we keep, so if when we turn this around, that torch is on. Okay, for some reason this one here is not working. Which is irritating. But basically when you have that one linked up, when you have it one linked up as well, it will then when this one and this one's off, it will go like that. Or you could link them all up as separate lines to an AND gate. But for the purpose, let's just use one here, and then we'll have our door. And put in a repeater, so it just doesn't run out of strength. So when it goes to any other position, the doors... I forgot to put the torch back, didn't I? Okay, so as you can see, the door is open. 
there we go and then if we turn it around to any other position it the right position the door will open we can then walk through and then when we leave again we can just press the wheel and it will turn up turn off that's how to make a combination lock with item frames thank you for watching this video if you learned something new please like and subscribe if you didn't like this video you don't do anything just leave come back to a different video that you do like if you still don't like my channel don't come back because i want a perfect light ratio sorry i'm rambling on now so i will hopefully see you in the next video goodbye